what is happening guys uh as i'm here back with another youtube video sorry it's been a month without posting i've been racked up so busy lately with work college um things going on um but we're back we're back we're talking about the rugby season um we're talking about what's what, what games are coming up talking about next season's prospects the game coming up on the weekend and a season review of how how the like season's gone as a whole i'm gonna set a like a like target of let's go 10 likes and the first top five people to comment will get a shout out in the next video and the first person to comment will get a special uh, guest video with me um where it'd be something very special um but apart from that let's get into it talk about let's talk, let's talk about the game this weekend harlequins away twickenham stoop we're we're going into this game three points off the playoffs um we lost to Sarri's obviously last weekend um which i think i think there were so many positives to take away we said goodbye to players that are leaving um in that game as well we come into this game having won six out of the last seven games um Looking at the tables at the minute, we've won ten, draw lost seven, drawn none. Um with three hundred and fifty-eight four and a uh four hundred and nineteen uh oh, I don't know what it's called, but four hundred and nineteen points uh, against us. Um Troy scored against us. There you go. Troy scored against us. Um, we've had nine bonus points this season, which is more, I think, more than we had last season. Um, as I said, we're going to the stoop on Saturday. Harlequins. Quins like to put up a good fight. Um, stat wise for Quinns, they are literally two points off that top four spot. Um, having one and nine, lost eight, drawn none. Um, I think they've got decent players in their squad, like Marcus Smith, Danny Kerr, um, Esther Hazen, um, Tyra Green, um, Will Porter. Um, Joe Marler, there's some top talent in that squad and I think they'll be able to put up a fight. I think looking forward in prospect, I I believe that this game will be hit and miss. I think Bears will try and go out, get a bonus point, hoping results swing their way. Um, yeah, hoping that results swing their way and getting into that top four ahead of Harlequins and Exeter. Um, going based off our last game, losing a 14, uh, 14, 40 something, 2041. We will be looking to come back on that foot and hope to play off the playoffs. Um, Couple of try scorers back the Thacker, brilliant McGinty from the boot Williams, um have been amazing this season, um, so I think it's going to be a really tough game. But Bears are gonna go out there with a mindset, try and get a bonus point, try and hope that uh, results uh, elsewhere swing their way, um. I think it'd be a really entertaining game. I think it'd be high scoring as well. Um, 
I don't think there'd be much difference in it. I think maybe two, maybe three points difference. Um, I think I think Bears are Bears will go out and win this. Uh, thirty three, thirty one. I think that will be the score line. Um, we're now going to move on into our next topic, and we're going to speak about the season as a whole. Now, this season hasn't been the best for us, uh, as I think Bears fans would have been like to be. Um, I think looking. At the season, we started off really well. Um, when did we start? I think it was all September we started. Yes. We... No, we didn't. One second. We started in October with... A loss. And then had two wins on the bounce. Um... We then go into November, we we had nipping games where they were close, they were tight, they were marginal. Um, we played Tarry's at um, Stone X, went there, lost by seven, lost to Bath by one, um, lost to Exeter by nine. Um, we then played Exeter again in December. We lost that. Um, Europe was amazing. Didn't get out of the group stages, but that was that was to be expected. Beat beat Gloucester fifty one twenty six. Um, when the France tried to beat Bordeaux, lost that. Beat Newcastle. Um, went out to. We we're up to Sale, so we went up to Manchester, beat Sale um, at the AJ Bell Stadium. Some of the stadiums we go to, they're hard to win, like you don't know the outcome. We had Bulls uh, from South Africa come over, unfortunately couldn't beat them. Um, went over to Ireland to play Cornet, we couldn't beat them. Out of the group stages we went, I think a positive will come out of that of being third um and then we beat bath uh in in, in style 57 44 um whereas in the uh, in earlier the season we went to the rack and we lost by the point um looking at february we didn't have any games march we beat northampton 52 51 uh, 21 went to gloucester beat them um we then played newcastle falcons uh put 80, 85 points on the board um against the struggling newcastle side went to welford road to play leicester 10 minutes left um uh, Leicester were 19, 19 0 up, uh, I presume. Yeah, 7, yeah, seven nil up, sorry, uh, by half time. Come back out and they were 19 nil up with 10 minutes left. We pulled off an amazing victory out of that. We then played Saracens over the weekend and we lost that. Um, We go to Stonex, uh, Stonex. We go to the Stoop on Saturday to take on Harlequins. Um, another tough game there. Another stadium that's gonna be tough for us. Um, looking at terms of where we are in the league, we're seventh at the minute. If we win at Harlequins with a bonus point, we finish in the top four, hoping say all will uh, drop. X to drop, we beat Harlequins to finish in that top four. I think momentum-wise, 
we didn't we, we didn't have the best of starts. We had two wins at the start. I think after the Six Nations break, we come back and clicked as a team. We had motivation after motivation to go out and try and win every game. Um, we had special players out there like we had Callum Sheedy, Harry Randall, um, AJ McGinty. We've also had um, Ellis Gench, um, Benhard JV uh, Rensburg, um, Vera Mavakatawa. What two signings they were they were um, coming into the Bears squad. Uh, Fitz Harden, the captain, motivating like motivating, getting the team going out, getting wins um, here and there. We've won ten games over the season, um. So we'll try and look, we'll try and look and make that eleventh win, um. It try and push for that playoffs. I do think playoffs is still in our grasp. Um, we'll be uh, and we'll play an away game, um. Before we, but b- before we go, even to Twickenham to play. Um, I think it'd be nice if we could get into the top four, making sure the momentum at Harlequins is there, making sure the team's right, making sure there's no no changes within within the team. Um, moving on to other stuff, um, we actually have the fixtures coming up pretty soon. Um, with the season starting in September, finishing in June, so it's a long, it's like a long season. Um, we've also got the Champions Cup to look forward to. We've got the um, oh, the Rugby Cup to look forward to, the Premiership Rugby Cup. But we're also hosting in November. Australian 11, so Australian national team um, in November. Um, we've ho- we're have we hosting in January, at the end of January, Queensland Reds. Um, I think looking at looking at these games, it's brilliant. We've, ho- we've had so many international teams come over. We've had Crusaders, we've had Barbarians, we've had... Um, Cardiff Rugby, we've had, oh, we've had, um, South Africa, we've had Crusaders, um, obviously we've had the Bulls, um, we've had Leon, I think, some of the major teams we've had come over. It's been nice to play against. And the two games we've got set up uh, for January or November and January is going to be amazing. Um, I think next season, going forward as well, um, we will be looking to push. We've, we've had, obviously, a few departures. Um we're having new signings come in that are going to have to gel within the squad, um, making sure that momentum is there, it registers with the player, making sure they have an off season, but making sure they train at the same time, um, ready to go back in September um, when the, the Premiership starts. Um, I think... A bit of silverware would be nice. We haven't won we haven't won silverware since twenty nineteen twenty, so during COVID. Um I think uh, there there'd be some positives to come out next season. But overall this season so far it's been really good. We've we haven't we haven't looked away, we haven't we haven't pushed um and it's just it's just keeping momentum now making sure we go to the stoop getting that win get a bonus point hoping um results go else like go our way 
Um, I will definitely, 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 definitely be hoping for a top four finish. Um, if we can't get a top four finish, then I will be happy with a top five finish. Um, but we'll go again next season where it'll be more teams, hopefully more more players um gelling with the squad and more wins um rather than losses um but i think as the season as a whole from myself as a fan it has been amazing to witness the lads go out weekend every weekend and put on a show has been phenomenal and i can't i can't fault how good it has been Anyway, guys, that is it for the video. I will be back uh, probably next week or the week after uh, with a new video. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Top five people that comment will get a shout out in the next video. The first person to actually comment will feature in the next video. Um, which I can give a little hint on. And it is to do with football. It is to do with football. So, like I said, like, subscribe, comment. Top five comments will get a shout out next video. And the first person's comment will feature in the next video. Hope you guys, hope you guys take well. And I'll be back in two weeks. Goodbye, lads.